Doctor Who and the Sardarians, Episode 7 Conference Room, Brigadier. There's no news from the Cave Mouth 2? Upton. We lost contact with Cave Mouth 2, sir. Brigadier, well, I want reports from all sectors as they come in. And get me Captain Hawkins. Upton, sir. Upton leaves as Liz enters. Liz, I will... Checked on the ambulance men in the sick bay. The acceleration of the skin is fading rapidly. But it is so the doctor's antidote seems totally effective. But it is so far, yes, Brigadier. I wish we could get a move on with that formula. Research station reception. The unconscious doctor has been dragged out of the laboratory by the Sasarian scientists. When Upton comes around the corner, Upton, Sergeant. Junior gives him the third eye treatment. Could so Darian Junior quickly. There may be others. The Ceridians go for the hole. They made in wall. Then juniors. The juniors seals it up again. Conference room. Both the Brigadier and Liz are fielding phone calls. Brigadier, how? Hold them long as you can. I go do my level best to get you support you need. Liz, unit control. Brigadier, over and out. Liz, yes, Dr. Crawford. Dr. Brigadier, crew cock. Bring that down here. Liz. I know, look, I'm terribly sorry. Brigadier, look, what's happening about my call to the Ministry of Defence? Liz, well, I'm sure the doctor won't be much longer. Brigadier, well, look, hurry up, man. This is top priority. Liz, I, I do realise, all right, goodbye. They, bo- they put their phones down. Brigadier, trouble? Liz, Dr. Meredith is getting very impatient. Brigadier, can't blame him. Liz, give the doctor a couple of more moments, I mean... You may have run into some kind of problem. Research centered reception. Hawkins steps out of the lift and sees Upton's body on the floor. He draws his revolver and then goes over to the repaired hole in the wall. A scientist enters. Hawkins. Hey you, give me a hand. Well don't just stand there gulping, man. Come on, give me a hand. Conference room. Brigadier, yes, all right, Major Walton. Pull back from the gallery four and try to hold him at the cave mouth three. Liz answers another phone. Liz, unit control, Brigadier, over and out. Liz, yes, sir. He's here. Hold the line. The Ministry of Defence, Brigadier. Be sure, I must have that formula. Liz, all right. I'll go and see what's holding the doctor up. Liz leaves, Brigadier. Left Ridge Stewart here, sir. You got my message? With respect, sir. I don't think you would appreciate the gravity of the situation, but there's no time to refer it to the Defence Committee. Research Centre, Laura Laboratory. Station, research station laboratory. Liz gazes at the mark of the wall before entering the lab. Liz, Doctor, the Brigadier. Liz steps on the broken glass and picks up a large piece of it, together with a crumpled piece of paper, and gathers up the other papers on the bench and runs. Conference room. Brigadier is bound away through another phone call. Brigadier? But where is he? Liz, I told him, I've no idea. Brigadier? You read the formula to the Doctor Crawford? You've been hanging on long enough. Liz, you don't understand. I don't know which is the formula. But here, hello, Dr. Crawford. Look, I'm afraid I have to ring you back. There's been yet another delay. Yes, yes, as soon as I can. Liz, but here, there's some glass in the lab. I don't know if there's the Hawkins enters. Hawkins, sir, there's been some kind of raid. Private Upton's dead. But in the case? But here, Hawkins, no, sir. Here, just down the corridor, there's a kind of scorch mark on the wall. Brigadier, stay here, Miss Shaw. Liz, what? Brigadier, stay here. Liz, yes, of course. Liz sorts through the papers and smooths out the crumpled piece and smiles. He picks up the telephone. Liz, get me Dr. Crawford, please. So Zoe and Cage is scientist. How many humans have survived the epidemic? Doctor, they've all survived. So Sarah and Junior. That's imp- it's impossible. Scientist, you, uh, you discovered a cure? Doctor, yes, and soon all the humans will be immune from your, to your epidemic. Your plan has failed as your leader wanted to, for it to fail. So, so in junior, your leader is dead. I killed him. I am the leader now. Conference room. Liz, thank you, Dr. Crawford. Brady and the Hawkins enter. Brady and the Sartorians have broken in. Liz, well, what about the doctor? Brady, well, I imagine they're taking him to the, their base. Captain Hawkins sent every man we got into the caves. I want all civilian personnel activated from here immediately. Hawkins, sir. Brigadier, and organize a thorough search for the laboratory. Hawkins, I'll see to it myself, sir. You two, come with me. Hawkins and the soldiers leave. Liz. 
I have given the formula to Dr. Crawford. They're going to make their own test and then go, then go into mass production of the antidote. Brilliant. Well done, Miss Shaw. Liz, what are you doing going to do about the doctor? Brilliant. What can I do? Sir, Liz, try and rescue him. You have to attack their base. Brilliant. At, that mo- at, li- at the moment, they seem to be attacking us. Cesarean cages, the sound of units come for is close by. Cesarean Junior, since the epidemic has failed, you must use other means. We intend to make this planet uninhabitable for human beings. Doctor, but you can't do that. You can't exterminate a whole species. Cesarean Junior, it's, it's a spurser. Ready for activation? Scientists, well, all we need now is the power. Cesarean Junior, we shall continue to use the electricity of the humans. Doctor, I'm afraid you won't be able to do that. Thanks to you, the humans are no longer making power. Their generator has been switched off. Scientists, then you will help us? So, so in junior, he will, we will force you to reactivate it. We shall take the center conference room. The Brigadier is trying to make a telephone call. Brigadier, hello, hello. Switchboard, what's the matter with this thing? The light's dim and the air con slows. Brigadier, what's the, de- what's the devil? Liz, we seem to have switched to an emergency lighting system. Liz, she tries another phone. Liz, hello, it's dead. He whined the wheel telephone. Brigadier, this one's dead too. I've, I've just sent the last of my men into those caves. Liz, what What do you mean? Brigadier, because of the attack, I sent every man I got down to the caves. Now the Caesareans are cutting our communications. Liz, what about your pocket radio? Brigadier, no, no uses at that step, that step, Liz. If they could break in at once, if they could break in once to get the doctor, they could break in again. Brigadier, exactly. At this time, it'd be being false. So, Serian Hibernation Room. The scientist is using his third eye on a casket with no success. Serian Junior, is the machinery prepared? Scientist, I could do nothing without power from the human progenerator. It ceased to function. So, so engineer, we shall force them to reactivate it. When your instruments finish the power, you revive all our people. Now, I shall take care of the one called the doctor to, uh, to the research. Now, I shall take the one called the doctor to the research centre. Research centre, reception, brigadier. I'll go to the ministry myself. We need a division down there. I'll see we'll get it. Brigadier tries to summon the lift. Brigadier. What's the matter with this thing? Liz, the telephone stopped working. Brigadier, now the lift as well. Scorch mark, the wall begins to glow. Liz, Brigadier, look. Hole reappears and the doctor walks through. Liz, doctor, followed by Caesareans, Dr. Jr., put down that weapon. The laboratory opposite the hole. Hawkins can hear everything as he hides behind the open door. Doctor, no. Do as he says, Brigadier. Oh, they'll kill us all. Scientists, we do not need these humans. Doctor, Mass sure is a scientist. If I do, if I am to do what you want, I shall need her help. Cesarean Junior, the other one is a soldier. He's dangerous, kill him. While well, Cesarean starts to use his third eye, Hawkins steps out of the lab and shoots. Doctor's grabbed as a shield. Doctor, stop. This, break it here. Doctor, no. Hawkins falls to the ground. Doctor, any more killing? I shall refuse to help you. And you'll have to kill me too. Cesarean Junior, you'll take us to the nuclear generator, or we will kill you all. Doctor, very well. I'll do as you want. Satarian room. Sorry, psychotron room. The Satarian bursts in and uses the third eye on the scientists. Doctor, stop, stop. I said there's no, be no more killing. Stay where you are. The center is now in the hands of Satarians. They need to use the generator. Now, if you follow carefully the instructions I shall give you, your lives will be spared. Satarian Jr., remove the bodies. Doctor, bring it in. Doctor, what do you think you're doing? Doctor, trying to save your lives. Now keep out of the way and keep quiet. Scientist, you will now contact. Connect this device to the nuclear generator. Doctor, the power source is over here. Large contractor and dishes on top. You build in. Doctor, what is the purpose of the machine? Cesarean Junior, that is no concern of yours. Doctor, if I am to help you, I must know. Scientist, this is a monarch of dispenser. Convert the energy of nuclear reactor to wake waves. Doctor, oh, for what purpose? Scientists so are microwaves to disperse the molecules of the filter belt, which was developed this planet since our time. 
Dr. Bunny, if that process gets out of hand, it will destroy your life on the, on the planet. So it's where you can control the process, commence work. Really, Soto, what are you, what are you going, going to do, Lee Soto? Destroy the Van Allen boat belt. Really, Soto, what? This Soto, the Van Allen boat belt, it surrounds the planet and filters out some of the sun's radiation. Really, Soto, what happens when it's gone? This Soto, it gets so hot, we will all die of sunburn on a cloudy day. Bidia Soto, what good will that do to them? Liz Soto, they're reptile, cold blooded, a fire in heat. We should die, I mean, the end of the human race. I mean, the end of the human race. So turn into hibernation room, hibernation room. So turn the generation of the humans. In producing power, commence the revival process. Casket starts open. The Syrian cannot get up. Set up. The lid light falls back. The Syrian, her power is still too low. Quite a room. room. Scientists, you'll now provide power to operate the dehydration machinery. Activate the, activate the disperser. So, yes, well, well, we need to stoke up the reactor. Are you sure? I need your help, please. Brilliant, really, you mustn't help him. Liz, the doctor knows what he's doing. Trust him. So I control the control room. The doctor's at the control desk with Juno watching. Doctor, Miss Shaw, I want you to feed uranium to the reactor, all right? Juno moves away. Doctor Sito, now when I tell you to lower all the rods in at once, Liz, Sato, Doctor, that will. Doctor, Liz, I know what I'm doing. Please do as I say. Liz goes back into the psychotron room. A doctor speaks into the microphone. Doctor, all technicians, to your usual sectors, please. So you use your sensor, please. All right, Liz. Liz, OC, yes. Doctor, lower number one rod. Liz, OC, number one rod. Check. Doctor, lower what in number two rod. Psychotron room. Liz, number two rod. Check. Doctor, OC, set to one. Increase your power level. Lower in the number three rod. Liz, number three rod. Check. Psychotron control room. Doctor, now you should be getting enough power. Now to get your disperser into unit into operation, into operation, the dis antenna starts to pulse. The Terrian Junior continue to increase the power, Doctor. As you wish, Liz. Now the megawatts meter leaps from twelve one point two past the end of red zone. The disperser goes bang. So Sierra Junior, you destroyed the disperser, Doctor. Yes, I know. Psychotron room, psychotron, psychotron, Saturian junior. Turn off the reactor. Scientists remove the uranium from the reactor. Scientists rushes Liz towards a rush control panel. Doctor, a C. Liz, keep away from those controls. Get back. Panel goes bang as Liz Gert runs back to the desk. Liz, O C. the reactor is now permanently overloaded. Psychotron room, control room, Doctor. There's going to be a massive explosion, a colossal radiation leakage. Psychotron room, Brigadier, the whole area will become deadly. To Jun- Junior, for how long? Science is a quarter of a century, possibly more. Scientists, that means nothing to us. We shall return to our base and wait in hibernation till the radiation has failed, faded. So, to Jun- Junior, kill those humans. Scientists, no, they will, they will, they all, they will stay here to die with the radiation. The Sertarian leave. Psychotron control room. Brady, well done, Doctor. Doctor, well done, Brady. Brady, well. You didn't... You hadn't... Brady, well. Had you better close down the reactor? Doctor, I can't. Brady, are you sure... You were surely bluffing them. Doctor, I well exaggerated a bit, but I had to push in the radio, the radio past the critical stage, or you would have believed, wouldn't have believed me. We better get out of here at once, Doctor. But here we can't. But here, why not? But here, they jammed the, the lift. There's no way out. Superior. To the Terrian Hibernation Room, the scientist uses third eye to push the casket across the floor. Scientist, rehabilitation new mechanism is defective. One of us must remain. Scientist Junior. So, Terrian Junior, I am the leader. Responsibility is mine. Scientist, the one who remains, he will die. So, Terrian Junior, significant power stored in the hibernation unit. So, Terrian Scientist, yes. I have a set the controls to revive us in 50 years from now. So, Terrian Junior, when our people revive, you'll be the leader. 
See that the apes are destroyed, so turn on Cybertron control room. The power meters are still in red. The doctor looks on the the bundle wires under the desk. But here, are you any good now? Liz, no, it's still, it's still not working. Doctor, give me time, Liz. Give it me time. There you are. I'll try that now. Liz, the mega well watch is still rising, Doctor. Yes, I know. I'm fusing the control of neutral flow. Now stand well back and cover your eyes. The Doctor adjusts controls in the desk and joins the brigadier and Liz at the back of the wall. Bang, flash, Doctor. Well, that seems to have done it. So tell me how I base nation area. A doctor has come pot, has come potholing again. Cesarian Jr., you're still alive. You tricked us. Doctor, I managed to close down this reactor. Cesarian Jr., then the others must be revived at once. But first I shall kill you. Jr. uses third eye. Really runs in and shoots him down eventually. Brigadier Doctor, well, doctor, well done, Brigadier, for now, now then. Brigadier, and just what do you think you're doing down here? Doctor, I'm trying to find out how this hibernation work, unit works. I must know if I'm going to revive them again. But you revive them? Doctor, yes, not at all at once, you understand. Well, at times, so that we can reason with them. There's a wealth of scientific knowledge down there. But here, we can't wait to get started on it. Psychotron control room. Doctor, yes. Well, everything seems to be working quite smoothly. I don't think there'll be any more trouble. Brigadier, splendid. Doctor, now, don't forget, Brigadier. Nobody is to go into Siberian Cape base. Brigadier? Yes, Doctor. Brigadier, Miss Shaw, and I will be back as soon as possible with some testing equipment. And probably some other scientists. Brigadier, good, good. We have a good journey. Doctor, don't forget, Brigadier. Nobody can go into that base. All right, all right. I'll see you tomorrow, Liz. Goodbye, Brigadier. Goodbye, Miss Shaw. Liz, thank you. The doctor, Liz, leave. Brigadier, call cool, nothing. Call cool, nothing, sir. Brigadier, everything's set up? Nothing, yes, sir. Brigadier, give them the time to go get clear and then set off those explosive charges. I want the sensory base sealed permanently. Junior, not quite dead. It drags itself over to a casket and starts using his third eye. Willie Moore. Bessie is sulking in the middle in the middle of the moor. Liz, shall I walk back and get some help? Doctor, no, no. Hey, no, it's just a minor mechanical fault. We will soon put that right. The doctor pours a small vial red liquid into the radiator. He counts for a few seconds in his watch. Bessie gurgles and the doctor traces a path through her workings with her thing with his fingers, and liquid dribbles out of the exhaust pipe. The on the cue and he starts up. Doctor, there you are. That's fixed it. Boom, and that isn't, and it isn't basically back firing. Liz, what was that? What's that? Explosion, the more underground. Junior fell, fails again around. More explosions, Doctor. The building is blown at the Saturnian base. Liz, he must have had orders for the ministry. Doctor, and you knew? Liz, no, the government were frightened. They just couldn't, couldn't take the risk. Doctor, but that, that's murder. There are intelligent alien beings, a whole new race of them. And we ju- he just wiped them out. Liz, I know, to the background of primary school. To the background of primary and secondary explosions, they drive away.